Mystery Boys are right. Hello, welcome Hi. to Hi. the Beer Street Boys. Today we're visiting a local bureau. Local bureau. Oh, where are, we? where are we, Dave? Where are we're we? We're in Noosa. Oh, how do you do? I actually was in Noosa Robert. a couple of weeks ago. I wandered into the brewery. Fancy uh, holiday up in Noosa? Living up on Hastings Street, where you? Oh, you? I was swanning into all the fine establishments. Yeah, of course you were. Uh, Massimo's down the end, getting gelati. That's pretty much where we go. That yeah. and and Maccas. Yep, but right. it's lovely. Land and sea. These guys have uh, got a beautiful ethos. It's very Noosa. Uh, sure it is. It's all about lowering their carbon footprint and and working with the earth. Oh, and uh, it's no. gorgeous. So. We are going to try the Japanese rice lager to start with. How do you Hang do? On. Rice lager? What's, what's that? Well, I'm telling you, 20% of this is rice. Uh, so, what? I've not tried this. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. 20% of it is rice. It means it has a little less uh, sugar. It's a lifestyle collab between two of Noosa's finest, Thomas Surfboards and Land and Sea Brewery. There you go. All right, here we go. That's just that's Here's a cheers. rice that is, lager. That is my first, first, so much. first for everybody, and more especially okay. tonight. Oh, it's a bit pungent on the nose. Oh, I like it. Yeah, I don't mind the smell. I don't mind the taste. It's a different type of lager, that's for sure. It's got a little to, bit of fruitiness to it. I would have said. I'm trying to taste the rice in there, but well, what does rice taste like? I don't know. It's Plain. And rice doesn't really have a taste. Simple. Exactly. So it's not like it's you know jasmine scented rice. Really. It's just rice. <laughs> it's, it's coconut rice. Yeah, well, well, we're not in we're not in India. We're in Japan. True. The Japanese. Get your rices right. They don't put much with their rice. It's ricest, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's got him here. <laughs> right. Just trying to think what it might what I could liken it to taste wise, but I'm I don't know what that is. Lost the, the smell was a little bit weird. Were you thinking Asahi or something? Well, it does say Japanese lager on the can. Well, I'll tell you, I also went to the heads of Noosa, um, and they have a Japanese... And who are they? They're the bosses. <laughs> Do they have names? They're like a crime syndicate. It's a... No, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh. Yeah, he said he spoke to the heads. Okay. I'll tell you. Bullshit. <laughs> Who were you talking to? It's a brewery. It's another brewery. Oh. oh. And they have a Japanese lager that tastes just like a really nice Asahi, you know, Sapporo, that kind of thing that we like. Right. Okay. So you were, maybe you are expecting that? Maybe I should go to the heads. Maybe you should. I'm all for it. All right. Yep. Subscribe. First point, pale ale. An all Australian pale ale brewed with a base of... Aussie Pale Malt, then hopped in the Whirlpool with three Aussie All-Stars. Ella, Vic Secret, and... Galaxy. Galaxy. Oh, okay. Look at the colour. That's nice. Love I it. mean, what do we think about the graphic design? They're kind of cool, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty yeah. cool. They're very noosa. A little, little bit old-fashioned somehow. They're very noosa. Um, yeah. I think they look, they look great. Good solid pale up. Yeah. Oh, it smells good. Yeah. No, I think they've done well with that one. Going so far as to say, rather than with the usual um, more pineapple-y, passion fruity flavours, it's slightly more orange flavour than oh, that yeah. one. Yeah. I'm getting the, the, with, the straight sort of hint of like orange cordial. Yeah. Just at the. It's very the orange peel, isn't it? Mm. It's almost like a marmalade. You've got that marmalade taste at the back of your tongue there? Yep. When we first started making videos, we made our local bureaus and we had. We just tried every beer that they made, and sometimes we'd be drinking seven or eight beers, which was fine. Uh, but we didn't get a lot done, so we just no. decided to try three. Uh, they fit neatly in the homemade well, paddles. That's why I made only three. It was sensible, yeah, dog. It was to cut back. Very sensible. Yeah. That is superb over the first one. For me, it's chocolate and cheese. Juice box. Oh, well, yeah, now, what, now I need, what's, what does that mean? Speaking of marmalade, what does that, that mean? What are you now? Using local sunshine and the finest ingredients in a shed on the outskirts of paradise. Holy smokes, dude. And you have unpasteurized and unfiltered for a, a real taste to be enjoyed as part of our perfect day. Let's give that a go. Let's However, see. unfiltered is a big tick for me. You I like the unfiltered? I, I do love it. Good for you. 
popped out to you there like a popper. A little bit. Well, that's what's on the front. What have we got? It's pretty cloudy. It's fairly cloudy. This is great. Look, a juice box. They're certainly um, suiting this so, type of the type of weather this type of year. Before this, this time of year. Before I drink it, if they say juice box, am I expecting orange, lemon, lime? Well, it would lead you to believe that, wouldn't it? Citrus if together. It said juice box. I mean, you'd think. Uh, if you're watching this for the first time, we're not pretending to be experts. We're just regular guys tasting beer. Well, it's got the juice flavour, and so many beers these days saying <laughs> beers with. I've seen that there's, there's beers with raspberry or beers with, and they're not sour beers. You can see them. Oh, hello. Or beers with lime or beers with this and that, but this is sort of insinuating juice. Like I was expecting um, golden circle tropical punch there for a, for, for a brief moment of my life. Well, it's punchish. It's got that thicker texture as being unfiltered. Look, I quite again. I quite like that. I do too. Yeah, it was surprising. It. It's that, that that's surprisingly good. I get very wary of things that say juice and beer. Really well made beer with a little bit added on. I, I don't want it added on with a hint of beer. The beer flavour for me has still got to be number one. I think that's got a nice clean follow through. It's, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's drinkable, it's soft on the tongue. Um, it's a little, uh, you know, it's not necessarily sessionable it's 6.5 oh yeah that's not a that's a that's a one time only for you me. feel that, it that'll yeah. sneak up in you that one because it goes down easy <laughs> especially if you're at noosa mm. you wouldn't want to be walking the streets after those you'd probably well this accidentally is, spend money uh, the sunshine coast is a bit of a beer mecca and that's what we do with local beer we are celebrating uh people who are in our community we try and support local and we like to drive up local breweries or walk up and walk in the door and have it handed to us cold thank you land and sea you get so, a, you get a pretty good tick a quick rundown it's interesting number one for you very interesting the first one the rice one yes yes very interesting. Dave, the juice, juice box. box well here we go mind interesting is definitely the pale ale in the middle okay so three different uh three Appealing different um, different tastes yeah well done three All right. goes See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Subscribe.